Plants have their secrets. And this man wants to get to the bottom of one of them. Frank Kepler is trying to prove something that no one imagined until now, that living plants emit the greenhouse gas methane. The environmental scientist has collected a wide range of different leaf samples to test his suspicion. Here in Heidelberg's botanical gardens, he hopes to find proof for what amounts to a scientific sensation. His hunt among the tropical plants seems set to challenge the widely accepted view that methane is not produced in a normal oxygen-rich atmosphere, and that microorganisms in the soil are responsible for synthesizing methane and releasing it into the air. We've seen that plants emit methane, so we simply have to disregard the standard textbook view and follow our observations, and that's what we're doing. The researchers have been persistently following their lead. They've developed an extremely sensitive method to detect even the tiniest traces of methane. So far, they've used their technique to examine around 40 different plant species. In order to be certain that the methane is emitted by the plants, we flush the chamber with methane-free air. That gets rid of the atmospheric background methane. And then after a fixed length of time, we measure the concentration of methane in the chamber. The air in the sealed plant chamber is passed through a number of filters, valves and endless loops of thin tubing. To ensure that their leafy sample was the only possible source of methane, the scientists froze out possible contaminants using liquid nitrogen. It has been known for a long time that bacteria in the soil produce methane under anaerobic or oxygen-poor conditions. This happens in flooded rice paddies and natural wetlands. And ruminant animals produce methane during digestion. In its lifetime, a single cow releases around 200,000 liters of the greenhouse gas into the atmosphere. In the laboratory in Heidelberg, the suspicion has been confirmed. Plants do indeed produce methane. This discovery has raised a number of new questions. First, we want to study the mechanism at work in collaboration with plant physiologists. We also intend to do field measurements to confirm that plants emit methane in the field. And then we want to work with other groups to use satellite observations to confirm our measurements. Recent analyses of satellite measurements showing how methane is distributed in the atmosphere around the globe appear to support the results. Environmental physicists at Heidelberg University were using satellite data to calculate where and how methane gets into the atmosphere. Then they came upon an apparent discrepancy. They found high concentrations of the greenhouse gas over regions where they least expected it, over tropical rainforests. But the discovery that plants emit methane has a logical explanation. Large concentrations of methane occur in places with dense vegetation. The scientists estimate that up to a third of the methane present in the atmosphere may come from plants. How do plants produce it? The answer may be found here, in this greenhouse. Thomas Rausch is an expert in plant metabolism. He and Frank Kepler have picked out one plant to study, its corn, and they're particularly interested in its pollen. Corn pollen contains large amounts of pectin, a constituent of the cell wall of plants. It's proved a promising candidate for tracking down the origin of methane. The pollen tube grows over a period of just a couple of hours. It grows in one direction and uses incredible amounts of pectin. And if pectin is the source of the methane, then we'd expect to observe significant release of methane here. They expect to get initial results in a matter of weeks. But a number of other questions are still open. How do plants react to rising levels of carbon dioxide in the air? That's a question that plant ecologists at Gießen University have been studying for some time. And what they found is that more CO2 means more methane is produced.
Up to now, the Giessen scientists had assumed that this was due to increased activity of soil bacteria. But in light of the new discoveries, it seems that meadow plants may be making more methane on their own. The researchers intend to investigate the phenomenon together with Frank Kepler. Both groups stand to benefit from the collaboration. Here in Gießen, here in Gießen, the project, led by Professor Jaeger, will enable us to detect methane production from plants in the field. If CO2 concentrations change in the future, we can simulate that here and see whether more or less methane is produced by the plants. We are especially interested in finding out the composition of the methane balance, that is, how much of it is produced by plants, as shown in Herr Kepler's recent publication, and how much is produced by microorganisms in the soil. We were unable to separate the two. Only with this new method can we get the answer. Plants absorb far more CO2 than the amount of methane they emit. Although methane has the greater warming potential, Frank Kepler has calculated that overall plants still slow down greenhouse warming. But the effect is less than climate models had predicted.